This is the video review of the Legacy Falcon Zord. Um, I was going to finish up the Zhuodra stuff that I have here with like uh, uh, Tosai Zhuo and Cube Whale, um, but I ended up getting the uh, Legacy Ninja Zord in the mail today, so I decided to just go ahead and do the uh, Legacy um, the Legacy stuff first because it's a lot simpler to do and a lot more topical right now. Um, but anyway, this is the uh, Falcon Zord. Um, by itself, I don't know why you would ever get this, because it's 60 bucks for a bird with not that much possibility. More, than, more so than the original, but it just doesn't do anything by itself. So, here it is next to the original one, and you can see it does look quite a bit nicer. It stands almost as tall, um, and it has a, a joint here at the wing, so there are quite a few things that this thing does better than the original one. Uh, because it also has like the, uh, the really nice legacy uh, paint job that you see on all the legacy figures. So, it is a nice piece by itself, and there's nothing that the original one does that, at least so far, that this one can't do, because we haven't seen the Shogun Zord getter or what. Um, and the uh, wingspan is very comparable, especially if you pull the wings out for those wing joints. Um, I'll put this guy off to the side now, because there's no... I, I, I have shown you the comparison. Um, but by itself, it just doesn't really do anything that's worth the money. Like, the paint job is nice, the extra posability is nice, but there's no reason to own this over the original one. Uh, unless you have something to combine it with, which just now got released. So anyway, for the possibility, the wings can go up and down, just like on the original one, on a really nice ratchet. It has this joint right here, which the original one did not have. Um, what I don't like about this joint, though, is that it's very easy to pop it off. Uh, you can pop it back on real easy, but I, um... This kind of connection I've never been a fan of because it's a kind of connection where if you take it apart, it uh, starts loosening up really easily so that it starts making it easier and easier to pop it off. Uh, one thing that I actually just noticed is that you can see through these little um, uh, cannon bits here where on the original one, you could not. So um, I guess that's something interesting that the new one does. But what really bugs me about that hinge system is that like when you push the wings in so that they're solid like on the original one, uh, you have to pull on that joint uh, right here to pull it out and it's just a kind of joint where it just comes apart way too easily for that to be the way it works like it should have a pin through it and it doesn't um, but anyway back to the possibility the head can look up and down just like the original one the beak can open and close the tail can come up and down the legs can move forward and back the claws can open and close and turn and so it is a quite posable bird by itself it just I don't know why you would want just this by itself. It doesn't transform or do anything. It just looks kind of impressive, and that's it. So you really need to have the um, some kind of a legacy figure to combine it with, and it's only going to work with a leg legacy um, uh, ninja zord or with a shogun zord if that gets released. Um, I think that's basically been confirmed, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, this has been a video review of the falcon zord. It's okay by itself. Um, but it's just not worth the money if you don't have anything to combine it with. And since it is just a single Zord, it's just kind of weird. Because it'd be like uh, releasing just the Frog Zord of the Legacy Ninja Zord and nothing else. Like, why? I don't, I don't get it. So, um, I, I will be showing how this combines with the Legacy uh, uh, Ninja, Zord, Ninja Mega Zord when I get to it. But uh, for now, this has been a video review of the Legacy Falcon Zord. I review uh, lots of stuff like Transformers, Power Rangers, uh, Digimon, Tobots, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.